morning, everybody. Hope you guys saw my breakfast. 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 Break. Break the fast. Breakfast. Okay, so that was. Um, the heck did I just eat? I just filmed it. It's two whole eggs, five ounces of egg whites, and 80 grams of some good old fashioned oatmeal. All right. Um, <clears throat> so today, God, dude, like I can't talk in the mornings. Like I can't film in the mornings. It's very hard for me to grasp the mind process in the morning. Um, today is Friday. Okay. So I worked the past three days. And when I work, you guys know I don't film, right? <clears throat> so I started my diet on Monday. So it's been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I've been on my diet for four days, okay? And this is how I look so far. I don't think it's that bad. The lighting in here is kind of garbage, but whatever you can see, I have a lot of lower back fat, lower abdominal fat, everything. I don't think it looks super bad, right? Um, <clears throat> hold on. Let's go over here where there's some photogenic lighting. So I've been on my diet for four days, started on Monday. When I weighed in Monday from our vacation, I was 203, okay? It was the big 203. I haven't been 200 in a freaking long ass time, probably like a, over a year I haven't been 200. So I gained up to 203. And then just this morning I weighed myself, I'm at, there's a fly there. I weighed at 198 or five. So I'm down five pounds, right? Um, which is cool. So down five pounds in four days. And you know, like when you first start a diet, a majority of that is like water weight and stuff. So granted it is water weight. Uh, so I'm going to stay on that diet until I, I don't want to say until I plateau until I feel the process starts slowing down more. So my, I'm working out normally. I haven't changed anything I work out. That's another big thing. Um, <clears throat> if you're going into a cut, do not change the way that you weightlift. Keep your weightlifting the same because your body's already acclimated towards it. So don't go in there and be like, oh, I'm gonna go super high rep now. Don't do that. I still lift three sets of whatever workout I'm doing and I only do six to eight reps, which allows me to push myself a lot more as opposed to if I did, if I did five sets of something and I did 12 reps, I'm going to have a lot of energy to push towards and I want to really push myself with maximum loads of weight, right? Today, I'm taking you guys through a full day of eating on a, on a, I'm taking you guys through a full day of eating on an eight week cut. So I have eight weeks to get ready for Vegas. I'm not doing a show. Uh, I'm coaching too many people this year. So fuck my camera turned off. <laughs> I'm coaching too many people this year, so I really want to focus on my clients this year. Maybe next year I'll compete, but even if I do compete, I got to put on a lot more size uh, to even, you know, like, because next time I compete, I really want to win. So I need to put on a lot more size. Anyways, I'm focusing on my clients, so I just want to get ready for Vegas because I've never been to a pool party. This is going to be my first time going to a pool party in Vegas, so I want to look in some type of shape. So I gave myself eight weeks to get ready. Andrea started her diet on Monday as well. So I'm down five pounds. I don't know how much she's going to be down by this week. Um, but let's see if we can get some natty lighting in here. Yeah? No? I don't even know, bro. Right there? Let me zoom in. Yeah. Okay. So right here, not that bad, right? Okay. Pretty, pretty whatever. So, so I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of weight cutting food. It's not gonna be nothing super spontaneous. I'm not a big fan of macro dieting, so you're not gonna see like a bunch of bull crap in my diet because I just don't like to eat that way. I get watery really easy. I hold water really freaking easy. Um, and I just like eating clean foods. Like I go get my blood work done a lot and I love looking at my blood work and seeing all my markers right down the middle. Everything's in line. Everything's perfect. My HDL, my LDL, total cholesterol, testosterone, everything. So I like to be the healthy guy. Um, I've never seen a macro dieter go get their blood work done. 
I personally have never seen it. So it's just one of those things where I do believe there are different types of foods that do help you um, with your cardiovascular system, help your liver, help your kidneys, help your heart, whatever. So I eat really clean and like I eat like an old school bodybuilder, but we're just, I'm ranting, I digress. I'm gonna show you guys how I eat the rest of the day, so let's get to it. So this is my second meal of the day. I have five ounces of chicken breasts and 200 grams of some white rice. I sprinkled that powder that you see is chili lime powder. I get that from Costco. <clears throat> and then Andrea found this freaking amazing sauce. They sell it at Target. This crap is freaking amazing. Game changer, dude. This, good lord. I, I don't think I've ever had a sauce this good. It's amazing. And it's, what does it say? It's five, where is it? Come on. It's five calories for one tablespoon. So I don't put a whole lot. I probably put a tablespoon and a half of it on there. But that sauce, oh my god, go get it right now. It's freaking crazy, bro. Go get it. So, this is basically my pre-workout meal. I have nine ounces of liquid egg whites, and I just drink that. If you guys know me, I just drink my egg whites the majority of the time. It's just a faster way to get it down, and I don't feel like making a whole freaking omelet. And then I have two regular English muffins with sugar-free uh, raspberry jelly on there. Um... When you get sugar free, it just eliminates all the sugar calories in there. So like the calories per tablespoon is 15 calories, which is, I don't even put that into my diet. Um, if I was on contest prep, I wouldn't put that on there. But that's pretty good. And then my pre-workout is this delicious rock star. They really stepped up their game with this one. And so my client, BD, she gets me packs of these. I don't know where she gets it from. But she got me this pack. She got me another pack of Rockstar. So I have two of those, one of those. And then I have two monster packs that I bought on my own in the garage. So I have a crap ton of drinks. If you guys want some, just come over to my house. I'll give you some for free. So, you guys just see my pre-workout meal. Brush my teeth because I don't want my breaths smelling dirty. Okay, I don't know why, but like lately, I don't know if it's just me or if you guys feel it too, but I have just been smelling people's breaths so intense. I don't know why, like, it, I, I don't know if my, my smelling senses have gotten heightened, but I just smell so much breath, like hot breath. Like if it's bad breath, I'll be like, dude, here's some gum. I always have gum on me. Here's some freaking gum. Um, so... This pretty basic today, right? Uh, I just want to point out that these Ever Forward joggers, I'm a fan of Max Tuning, and I got these joggers, and dude, these, these joggers are by far the best joggers I've ever had. I mean, I could squat in these. These are just like really good. I've owned a lot of joggers. Um, I don't have any Nike ones. I have the Adidas soccer pants, which I really enjoy, but these have way more stretch to it. They fit better and they just have a lot more stretch to it. Like I could train legs in these, like with squatting <clears throat> and doing lunges and stuff. So I just like these a lot more. Also, this is way off topic and I just want to show you guys how freaking messy my dog is. Okay, comment, hi, this guy. This dude right here. Look at this. Look at this. This is all him. Comet doesn't eat like that. Apparently there's food in there and you pick it out, huh? Because you're picky. Weird dog. I'm going to the gym. Bye. So, back from the gym, we got 70 grams of cream of wheat and then 35 grams of some isolate protein. And I threw some, I probably put like four cherries in there. And I've been using cherries just a little bit now because cherries actually have a natural antioxidant in it that helps with your joint, like with joint pain. Um, I forgot the name of the antioxidant. I gotta look it up. Uh, but I used it with a lot of my older clients. Like 
uh, people that are 50 and up or even people that are just complaining about their joints, I'll tell them to start eating cherries or go get um, black cherry extract, which is in a liquid form. And you can do that and you'll actually, I think within like, I want to say three to four days of continuously just doing a little bit of it, it'll alleviate joint pain just a little bit. So uh, I've been doing that because I've been pushing myself a lot heavier, even though I'm cutting weight, I'm trying to lift trying to lift more weight just to mentally push myself and to keep at the same weight pace while I'm training. But this is uh, my post-workout meal for the day. Bro, what are you doing? You're so needy. You're needy, you know that? Just took a shower, finally. So I'm gonna show you guys my fifth meal. Then right after, I gotta jet out and uh, I gotta go to the gym. I have to go to Cuts, cause I'm meeting, I have a meeting there with somebody. And then after that, it, like immediately right after that, I gotta train clients. Um, Andre and Francis are gonna be there, so I'll take some B-roll of them working out. Uh, we might go over posing with Francis. So until then, I mean, I'm gonna see how he feels and how he looks because we're six weeks out now from his first competition, which is gonna be in Sacramento. Uh, so we're, do we're actually doing that show and then four weeks later, we're doing the Las Vegas show. So that Sacramento show is actually gonna be a warm up show for him. And then uh, after that, we'll come back here and I'll show you guys my last meal before I go to bed. So that was meal number five. And then now we're gonna head off to the gym. So now we're in a rush because we gotta go do more things. So let's go. What kind of bird has purple shit? It's hella weird. My last meal that I'm gonna have is with, I'm gonna have 30 grams of isolate protein. I've been using this protein, it's really cool. Uh, I really enjoy it. It mixes with water very fast, unlike other regular protein. Um, and then, so I'm gonna do 35 grams of the isolate protein, I'm gonna do 20 grams of peanut butter, and then I'm gonna do one regular apple, honey crisps, cause you know me. So uh, that that's gonna be my last meal, meal number six. So for the whole day, I do 200 grams of protein, 300 grams of carbs, and what's ever left is dedicated towards fat. My total calories are, they're at 3,390 calories, so, oh, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. It's at uh, it's at 2,400 calories. I don't know why I said that. It's at 2,400 calories, uh, and that's on a weight cut. So, like I said, since Monday, it's now Friday. So I've lost five pounds uh, in five days, which, like I said, this morning, it's a majority of its water weight. Uh, I'll post it up at the end of the video, but next week. Hopefully next week or the two videos after this, I have some really big news to tell you guys. Uh, I'm really excited for it. It's, uh, it's a big deal. And I'm not even going to give any hints to you guys, but I can't wait to share it with you. So it's going to be pretty freaking epic. But until next week, tomorrow, I got two birthdays to go to tomorrow. I have uh, Kira, which is Armand's daughter's birthday. I have to go to that during the day. And then at night, we're going to like some arcade in the city for Beatty's birthday. Uh, and then Sunday, Cinco de Mayo is my mom's birthday. So I got three birthdays to go to in two days. Uh, it's tiring, guys. This life. Gosh, it's so hard. First world problems. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Uh, I might have my intro on in this video. If I do have my intro, let me know how you guys feel about it, if I should change it around, or what you guys think I should do with it. I'm just going to try it out and see how you guys like it, but let me know in the comments below if you like it or not. Uh, I'll catch you guys next week.